This video is to illustrate how easy it is to add a new virtual network to an existing data center fabric using Juniper Abstra. The Stage tab is where you can make changes to the active blueprint. Under Virtual tab, I'm going to create a new routing zone. I'm going to allow the system to allocate resources from pools that are previously defined. This is the routing policy I'm going to select for this tenant. As we see the new routing zone being created, we see red indicators telling us that there's additional elements that we need to define. In this case, it's loop back IPs, so we're going to select a pool. We'll save that, and the resources will be allocated for the configurations that will be generated shortly. As the resources have populated, the tab turns green, and the changes are queued in the Uncommitted tab for review before we push the changes live. Now, we're going to create the virtual network that resides within the new VRF. It's a VXLAN that will extend to all of the racks in the system. I specify the routing zone that we just created in the previous step. Let's use this selection to make the same VLAN ID represent this virtual network on each switch. When I make the Tagged selection, it will create a connectivity template that we'll use to add a tagged VLAN to workloads that we add later to the fabric. and I'll specify all three racks that I have in the system for the location of this virtual network. Another red tab appears that tells me I need to specify a pool for IP addressing. I select a pool, the addresses are allocated, and then the changes are also queued in the End Uncommitted tab. When it changes from red to yellow, that means that the change is waiting for me to review before I commit them to the active network. In this case, all looks good, so I will commit. It's recommended to write a note when we make changes, because it lets others know what the change was about. And it will also show in the Time Voyager tab, in case we want to roll back, undo the change. At this stage, I'm going to view the configuration of the device, and I'm going to verify that the new virtual network has been created. As a final result, you can see RED41 now exists in the configuration for this leaf switch.